the Business Channel for business class programming. Well, joining me now is John Jenkins, the Chief Executive of GE Capital UK. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Can you give us an overview first of your organisation and the areas that you're involved in? Sure. Uh, we're a specialist financier in the UK market, providing a range of specialist products to manufacturers, service businesses and distributors. They range from uh, asset-based lending facilities such as invoice discounting, equipment leasing, fleet services for car drivers and distribution finance. In all we help about 90,000 UK companies and keep about 45,000 drivers on the road. Now the UK economy is increasingly relying on manufacturing and how can you help in, in that respect? Um, I think we help broadly by providing finance. I mean, as a specialist financier we're, we're there as an alternative to perhaps more mainstream bank finance in the sort of products we provide. Specifically for manufacturers there is this need to continue to invest and um, to hold stocks of uh, raw materials, to hold stocks of inventory uh, and also to fund their working capital cycle. Now what kind of financial products do you provide and how does this help companies who are needing more working capital to grow, to expand? Um, I, I think in a number of ways. That if we look at our working capital products perhaps, they tend to be asset based, they tend to respond to growth quite effectively, so as businesses build stocks of inventory perhaps, so their facility increases in, in line with that inventory growth. As their sales increase, as they explore new markets, so again linking their finance to their sales volumes allows their, their finance to grow automatically. How important do you think is creativity and speed of decision to your clients and how do you facilitate this? I think it's vital. I mean, as, as business has kind of changed its shape and its operating model over the past few years, we've seen a shift in the requirement of these businesses of their finances. So, for example, businesses are much more willing now to rent rather than buy. Uh, a manufacturer will look to perhaps lease its equipment rather than to buy it outright, giving them more flexibility and cash flow. Similarly as they're selling, perhaps their buyers are looking to uh, lease rather than buy the assets outright. So if you take perhaps healthcare manufacturers, increasingly now their customers are looking to lease the assets rather than buy outright, and we're able to help that. In terms of um Machine, radiography machines or whatever? Indeed, indeed. Uh, you know, uh, uh, GE itself is a large manufacturer of healthcare equipment, so it helps that we understand the changing dynamic that's taking place in that market uh, and looking at how their customers now are both buying a lot more software with the hardware and looking to package that as a single solution that we need to finance effectively, but also looking to lease rather than buy the assets because they know that technology continues to change and adapt and the assets they have today in three or four years' time will be obsolete. Now looking at investment and development into new markets, mm -hmm. how do you utilise your expertise to help your clients in this area? I think, I think we're very advantaged and we're part of a European group that has large finance businesses in Germany, in Italy, in France and elsewhere across Europe and indeed across the world. That gives us a huge amount of insight into how those markets operate and the requirements of selling into those markets and the requirements of buying from those markets as well as we ourselves are present and financing in those spaces. Looking at another issue, how important is retention and training of staff in your area? Vitally important. I mean, we, we are a specialist finance area. We therefore require staff and uh, managers with quite specialist skills given the nature of the products that we're providing. Um, so staff retention, staff development is vital. Retention as skills and, and your sort of human capital becomes vital to your continued success and growth. And also because you need those folks to continue to adapt your models to respond to the models of your buyers and your customers. Do you have good retention of staff or do you have a lot of churn? Um, we have pretty good retention. Uh, I, I'd say that we have above average retention. Um, Gee, it's an interesting place to work. And I've, I've been here for just about six years now and uh, it certainly rewards, uh, it rewards development, it, revo it rewards its talent. It's very much a meritocracy uh, and that allows people to develop and to grow themselves and sort of shift between the various specialist businesses we have to have a broad career as well as a long career. And how do you see your organisation growing in relation to the UK economy? Um, at the moment we're outgrowing the market and we will continue to do so and that's our stated aim. And I think, I think it works if we look at the market at the moment, if we look at some of the competitive environment, you know, we stand there as a specialist, we stand there as a consistent specialist, um, able to help right now in, in sort of this changing market environment that many of our customers are seeing and adapt our models perhaps more easily than a larger more retail focused bank is able to do. So we're growing, we're growing strongly and we'll continue to do so. Now if you were to ask for any changes in government policy or in EU policy, is there anything that you feel needs to be done to help you in your business? 
Um, I think there's a couple of things. I think at the moment there are some specific changes proposed to lease accounting, which frankly I don't think will be very helpful for either customers or lenders. So perhaps to sort of continue to consider how those are going to play out into the market. Um, and I think for manufacturers especially, looking at the, the, the tax relief available for investment needs some, some further thought. I mean, it, it's, it's improving, but I still see that manufacturers are somewhat hesitant to invest right at this point in the cycle, uh, and perhaps some more stimulus is required. Okay, well, uh, John Jenkins, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure. The Business Channel, for business class programming.